Number 51, calculate the number of moles and the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. So in this case, they tell us that we have 100 milliliters of a 3.8 times 10 to the negative fifth molar sodium cyanide uh, compound. And this amount, right, this is the minimum lethal concentration of sodium cyanide in blood serum. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> to happier things, let's just find out how many moles this is and what's the mass. Well, they give us a volume, right? Milliliters is a volume, and they gave us a molarity. I like to think of a little triangle chart that will help you guys out, and it is right here. So I'm just going to put it over to the left-hand side here. It doesn't have to be, you know, yours doesn't have to be as fancy as mine. The whole idea is that it's a triangle with the T in the middle, and then just make sure that your units are exactly the way that I draw them. Okay? So, in order for us to use a molarity formula, we need these three units. Now, they did give us a molarity, right? Capital M is a molarity, and they told us that it was 3.8 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. So I have this guy. But did they tell me a liter value? No, they gave us a milliliter value. So the first thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to convert the 100 milliliters into liters. Well, how do I do that? Down here, right? Going from mils to liter, looks like all I have to do is divide my milliliters by 1,000. Or you could also take the decimal and move it to the left three times. Whichever one you prefer. I don't really care. So I'm just going to say 100.0 mils. We'll divide that by 1,000. And that now is 0.1. Let's just keep this the same amount of sig figs. So it'd be 0 0.1000 liters. And now I have liters. And look here, if I have molarity and I have liters, the thing that I have to solve for is moles. So I can find out how many moles of the solute I have. Now, what's the formula here, guys? This is a cool trick to help you make the formula. All you're going to do is you're going to hover over the one that you're looking for, right? So you're going to hover over the moles. And the formula would be moles equal. Now, since molarity and liters are on the same tier, right? They're both on the bottom and the boxes are right next to each other. This would be multiplication. So moles equal molarity times liter. And now we have the two values. So let's just plug it in. The amount of moles that I have equal the molarity, which is 3.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. You could keep the units in there. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have the units at the end, right? So here we go. This is the moles of my solute. 3.8 times 10 to the fifth, 10 to the negative fifth times 0.1 uh, should be 3.8 times 10 to the negative sixth. And that's moles. Of the solute, they told me that this was NaCn. So that's the answer to my first part. Okay. Now all we have to do is, I did this, now we just have to get the mass. Well, remember, a mass is just a fancy way of saying grams, right? Grams is the unit of mass. I have a mole, and I need to go to mass, right? I have to go to grams. So this is a little trick down here, guys, right? If you have moles of any compound or element, you can find the grams of the same compound or element by just going from moles to grams, right? You're going this way. So all you have to do is just multiply by the molecular weight or the molar mass or the molecular mass. It's the same thing. It's the amount that's on the periodic table, PT, periodic table. So I would have to find out what the molecular weight is of NaCn. So this is going back to your periodic table, right? We've done tons of problems finding out molecular weights. So this one is no different. I'm going to get my answer. I'll get the exact answer. If you guys went around, that's fine with me. Let's just see if our answer comes out kind of close to each other. Let's see. So when I do NACN, I get 49.01 grams per mole. Grams per mole is the 
unit for a molar mass or molecular weight. So to get those grams, I take the moles that I have, right? So 3.8 times 10 to the negative 6, and I times by the molecular weight, 49.01. And that's going to get me grams, right? If I use the units, this is a mole, and this is a gram per mole. So look, I have a mole on the top and the mole on the bottom, right? Because this is basically over 1. So these cancel. And that's why when you do this, you are left with just grams. So let's just do the calculation and call it a day, right? So let's see, we got 3.8 times that. Okay, so that times 49.01. Let's keep with the two sig figs. So I get 1.9. 1.9 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's grams of NaCN. So there is the second answer. So first answer was the moles, second answer was the mass, which is in the grams. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. I really hope that I'm helping you guys out. Um, yeah, chemistry sounds, you know, hard, but it's really not. It's just doing these math problems. We got this, all right? Any tricks that I can give you, I would love to give them to you. Um, let's keep rocking and rolling. Let's keep pushing hard and, you know, working on that homework. And good luck to you on your exams, okay? I'll see you in the next problem. Bye-bye.